Hello everyone, my name is Morgan and welcome back to P.O. Fiore Faded Memories! So, in the last video we finished Nicola's route and today we're gonna be starting Yang's route, which I've expressed many times I'm a little nervous for, it seems a little, a little scary. You know, he's got that voice that's very deep and he talks all slow and creepy like. And also he just likes to cause problems, at least he did Nicola's route. Um, but before we do that, we have a short story to complete. That is Nicola's short story. I clicked on the gallery. <laughs> Oops. Here we go. Short story. Uh, yes. This shouldn't be too long. Um, is it gonna be me having to talk the whole time though? Is what I'm wondering. It sure is. <laughs> this is how the short stories were in Cholerix Malice. It's just a whole bunch of text. Maybe we'll get a picture out of this. We'll see. <laughs> okay, it was quite an honor to receive such a role. I, Nicola Francesca, I'm Nicola, committed a sin in betraying my family. And yet the Falzoni and the Visconti still trusted me, which is why I was doing what I could to repay their trust, but... Okay, well that's good that there is some voice acting in it. <laughs> because in Choleric's Malice, like, none of it was voice acted, so sometimes it was really hard to tell who was talking when within this format. I let out a deep sigh upon leaving Dante's office after... After giving him my report. Maybe I could delegate some of my work to Leo and the others. I walked down the hallway, trying to find things out. It made no sense overburdening myself. If I went down, I'd just be burdening everyone else. That said, あの子とゆっくり過ごす時間が全然取れていないせいなんだろうし I never expected this to become or I never expected this to be the reason. I kept people away when I wanted to rest because it would be tiring to be with someone to be with someone. I can't talk. <laughs> this is really great. Off to a fantastic start today. But things were different now. Her smile and the feeling of her gentle embrace satisfied my heart. It made me feel like nothing could take me down. I peeked into the salon to get a cup of espresso, only to see Lily there. It looked like she was reading a book alone. I smiled, happy to see her around. I then thought of a small prank. Don't, don't mess with me, Nicola. I quietly moved and got behind her. Are you done with your work, Nicola? <laughs> I sensed you. You can't prank me. No. <laughs> Lily didn't even turn around and simply replied. I could tell when someone is nearby. I think I'm a lot keener than before, thanks to a certain someone playing tricks on me. Oh. I did enjoy seeing the many sides of the woman I loved, but I didn't think anyone would be angry at me for acting a, a bit immaturely. <laughs> I tried to find out how she felt right now. All she was doing was reading her book. I'm not angry or anything, I'm just used to being surprised already. You do this every day, Nicola, it's a little old. It's still fun without her paying attention to me. I need to play with her emotions to get her attention. I reached out for her from behind before Lily could react. Hey, we do get a picture out of it. Sir! I held her firmly in my arms so she couldn't escape, then gently. No! Don't do that! <laughs> Look! Ow! No! Eek! <laughs> I chuckled hearing her tiny shriek. Hey, Nicola, what are you. Stop it! Look, I'm still traumatized from Diabolic Lovers. This kind of stuff was just normal and it would, then it would escalate into even weirder stuff. I wasn't going to let her go so easily. <laughs> Nibbling and whispering made her body squirm in my arms. Maybe <laughs> because you're biting it! Cut it out! Stop it already! She embarrassingly tried to show me away. I only spoke the truth, though. 
I wondered if she knew I was telling the truth. Sometimes I felt like my words of love to her were simply falling on deaf ears. I understood it was because of who I was, which was why I kept telling her how much I love her. In any case, seeing her react to even the tiniest of pranks was unbearably cute. But now, <sighs> I gave a sigh as I held the flustered lily in my arms. <laughs> Oh, okay. Lily stuttered at my whisper. <laughs> I didn't read that like a stutter, though. I could tell by the tone of her voice that she was a bit relieved to know she'd be freed. Well, good luck with your work, Nicola. I still had her, er, had my arms around her. I whispered a secret into her ear. What's your secret? Oh. Lily held her breath, knowing what I was implying. Her white neck was now scarlet as a rose. She still hadn't replied to me, so I nudged her a bit with stronger words. It's because I didn't reply. Yes. She nodded and replied with a meek voice. I felt a lot better now that I saw my cute girl trembling with embarrassment. That's all you need to refresh yourself. I waved my hand at Lily, who was looking at me with an angry yet confused expression on her red face. I wish I could stay a bit longer, but oh well. Break time is over. I couldn't believe a single girl was affecting me like this, but I couldn't deny it since it was true. Is that it? Is that, is that our short story? Indeed it is! Alright! That was very quick. I probably could have fit it in the last one, but... Eh. Oh well. <laughs> what is this progress? Oh, okay. Um... I, I did want to mention that I have heard that there is... A, like, finale route? After you finish all the other boys? I don't know anything about it other than the fact that it exists. Um, so I just thought I would let you guys know that I know that it exists. <laughs> so I guess Gilbert won't actually be the last route. There'll be whatever this mystery thing at the end is. Is there a mystery boy? Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get the prologue started again. Um, I'm gonna skip over most of it because we've seen it before. Um, but anytime something new pops up, I will show that. Wait a second, what is this? Episodes following the best ending. Whoa, wait, hey! Who's that guy? Are you finale route? Who are you? Okay, so I looked this up because I wasn't sure what it was. This is apparently a start, like a prologue to the sequel. On the other episodes following the bad end. Okay, well, I didn't do the bad end. Um, uh, yeah, as of right now, and maybe we'll do these at the very end of the, of the game, you know? Still like, who the hell is this man? Okay, anyway, we're gonna just head on over to Yang like planned. So do Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't, so we're skipping everything we've read. This is new. An unfamiliar voice suddenly cut into my conversation with the children. Okay, I guess this is when I'm reading with the children. I've seen that person before. Okay, I thought it was you. Interesting. Why, yes. What else? Well, I'm sorry, I'm not well versed in it. After all, it's lore from long ago. All that it, all that is known about it is that the person did build the church here and grew the town to what it is today. Unfortunately, I haven't. That's odd. A church on an island off of France was supposedly built in the same manner. The church stated who actually built it. But there is no record of who received the angel's message in Berlone. <sighs> hmm. Okay, bye, Orlock. Young man mumbled, then turned his back and walked away. <laughs> Orlock, why were you lurking here? Oh well, I guess you can as a church after all. I suppose. Oh, sorry about that. 
The story of God and the angels. The book said that the kingdom of God was for the children, but... What's the matter, Giovanni? <laughs> Why, yes, what is it? Huh? Giovanni. I need to answer him. Uh, that's what life is. Giovanni, living as humans means that we will experience being happy and sad. I think that applies to everyone here on Earth. Yes, no matter how happy or strong a person looks, they carry hardships and pain within them. That's what life is all about. You'll suffer, child, you'll suffer. I think it takes a lot for us to live the way we do. But that doesn't mean we must always suffer. We enjoy life and are blessed with happiness as well. It's something we all go through. And that's why we do our very best each day to try and be better people despite our hardships. I think there is meaning to, in us living this way. This is just my way of thinking, but you may think differently, Giovanni. This kid was not in the prologue originally. At least I'm pretty sure. And that's perfectly fine. I patted Giovanni on the head. I'm sure you'll come up with your own answers as you grow older. After a short while, he raised his head to look at me. <laughs> Really? No problem, kid. You're very welcome. Is, uh... Is, is that it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Back to skipping. Oh, okay. I... Oh, okay. I think we're talking about those old... Those, those, those old people are like, there's so many girls just leaving. Um, I understand why they left. I understand why they would want to leave for the city. I don't know what things are like outside of Arca. And sometimes I think about how things might be in places outside Berlone. <laughs> I think you're right. There is something special about our hometown after all. I was just saying something similar to the children at church. Oh, I can't remember. Is this... Yep, okay, back to skipping. Is this meanwhile here before? I don't know. Definitely not. <laughs> we did not go to Dante's office before. <笑>あの子に会ったよ。そうか。あれ、ダンテ、興味ないの何も変わりはなかったんだろう。だったら俺が気にすることはない。まあ、そうか。何もなかったと言えばなかったかな。ちょっと刑事に絡まれていたくら
Okay, are we back to skipping? Yep. Oh. This is new. Oh, help me. Your Excellency. ところで尊いお方は下々の時間など、いくら浪費しても減らないとお考えか。謝礼は払う。そう約束したはずだ。気遣いに感謝を忘れているのではないだろうな。我々は互いに協力関係にあるのだと。滅相もない。芸家には多
Maybe I should talk to him? Elena, do you mind? Uh, uh, no. Talk to a kid? I'm sorry, I'll be right back. I left Elena to the people as I went over to the young boy. Hello there. We brought some food for everyone from the church. Would you like some? Uh, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't sound interested. Or maybe he's just cautious? Um? Do you like sweets? Say, do you like sweets? I breathed a sigh of relief with his response and handed him a small item wrapped in thin paper. Well, this is for you then. It's a torta al limon. I made it. I'd be very happy if you tried a bite. Eat it, kid. <laughs> you guess you can do it? Okay. Oh, eat it a bit slower or you might do that. Don't die, please. Are you alright? Take a deep breath. I wonder if he'll drink some soup. I thought of what else I could give him as I patted his frail back. What is it? You like eating, don't you? だって、あなたが作ったトルタ、すごく美味しそうだったでしょ。もし余ったら私が食べちゃおうと思っていたんだけど、全部なくなっちゃった。私のお腹はもうすっかりトルタ気分なのに、このままじゃ耐えられない。
In the midst of my confusion, I heard people talking outside. Oops, cut you off, Laoshu member A. These voices, were they the ones who abducted me? Who is the he they were talking about? There were so many questions I wanted to ask. I'm scared, but... I knew for a fact that just waiting around wouldn't do any good. I can move both my hands and feet. I was somewhat surprised to see that, that they hadn't tied me up. Maybe it was because I was unconscious, so perhaps they underestimated me. I might have a chance to escape. There's a window. Jump out it. I felt a faint sense of hope and tiptoed to the door. No, go ahead, open the window and just jump. <laughs> Maybe you're on like the ninth floor of this building and that wouldn't be a good idea though. Thank God they didn't lock the door. I carefully opened the door so I wouldn't make a sound, then peered into the hall. Hello? Seeing that the coast was clear, I sighed with relief. I had almost lost all hope when I realized I was abducted by the Laoshu. I may have a little bit of luck left. <laughs> yeah, but you have no idea where you are in this building or how to get out. Careful not to make a sound, I slowly opened the door wider and stepped into the hallway. I tiptoed my way down the corridor. Eventually, I found a stairway leading downstairs. I hear people's voices downstairs. There seemed to be a few people on the bottom landing. Could they be guards? If I just walked down the stairs, they would definitely see me. If I can't use the stairs, maybe the window, yep. Maybe the window, but what floor am I on? Thank you for taking my suggestion. For the time being, I should find a window. Maybe over here, there was one in your room, girl. Uh-oh. Oh Hi. Nice evening we're having. Don't you think? I've been caught. I instinctively ran for it, but the only place I could go was upstairs. Oh, it wasn't you? You looked an awful like like you looked an awful lot like the guy who knocked me out. Pant pant. I ran up the stairs and hid behind a nearby wall. All the stairs looked similar, so I had no idea how far up I went. Well, that's gonna throw our window idea out the out the window. <laughs> throw the window idea out the window. The men opened each door and hurriedly searched inside the rooms. As I did so, I held my breath and turned back toward the stairs. I don't think I can escape out the window from this floor. I just need to get down as I need I just need to get as far down as I can. God, hello? Oh no, someone's coming upstairs. I knew that if I ran back upstairs, I'd be trapped between them. But if I stayed here, I would be caught for sure. Please, God. My heart was pounding with fear as I ran up the stairs. And now I'm on the roof. Just start, like, hopping across roofs, you know? You can totally do that. I opened a door at the end of the staircase and found myself on the rooftop. Ah. I felt the cool air on my skin and looked up at the night sky. For a second, I felt the tension break. But this is a dead end. There was nowhere else for me to run. I was faced with bitter reality and reality and felt a sense of desperation come over me. Oh god. I thought there was no one else on the rooftop until now. Is it Yang? Oh no, someone's here. There was a dark shadow that blended into the night, standing on the edge of the rooftop. Was he looking at the stars? Or was he looking down at the lights of the town beneath him? He's not turning around. Wouldn't he have heard the door open as I came out here? Did he not see me? Then, if I'm able to hide myself, I might be able to get away. Just as I felt that faint hope, it's Yang. The shadow suddenly turned around. The golden eyes that shone in the night seemed to be in a daze, as if they couldn't see me. I had a really bad feeling about this. Yeah, you should. An instinctive fear deep down. Who is he? He's Yang. I cowered from the eerie shadow. My body was beginning to tremble with fear. Oh, um, 
let's uh, look at the guide. I should say something. Hello, Yang. My name is Lily. I have to say something. It might be a futile effort. But just maybe he might be different from the other men? Oh no. <laughs> Definitely not. He's their boss. He didn't rush to capture me like the others. Even if this is Lao Xu's base, I'm not sure everyone is a bad person. You picked the baddest of them all, I think. So I don't know. We're somehow gonna fall in love with this man? They may even hear me out. I hung on to whatever hope I had left and spoke up. I'm, I'm sorry for bothering you. I think I've been brought here by mistake. If possible, could you please not tell anyone that you saw me? <laughs> oh God, that smile. Did he just smile? Yeah, he ain't helping you. A moment ago, I was relieved to think I'd, be sp I'd been spared. However, I was now terrified. The moment I saw him smile, I froze. I just couldn't move. In the next moment... Whoa. Oh my god! Whoa! Um... Excuse me? Excuse me? We just met! My lips were sealed! What the? Ooh. Huh? A slender arm had reached out, catching me by the chin. It pulled me in. And in my vision was an unexpectedly beautiful person drawing me, drawing closer to me. Our faces touched. Okay, this music is very cool in the back though. I could smell a sweet flowery fragrance and felt something wet on my lips. Huh? What? <laughs> What's happening? I struggled to break free from his grasp and turned my face away. Stop! But they wouldn't listen. Despite having very thin fingers, the power of his strength was too much. <laughs> Sir, please stop. I felt like a sweet poison was entering my lips. My head felt dizzy and my vision went, wi went white. I felt myself fading. Um, I have to... Fight it! No, at this rate... I tried to resist once more, and tried with all my might to twist my body away. His lips wouldn't part from mine, so all I could do was swing my, ha swing my hand up. What are you doing? I slapped him. He liked it, though. <laughs> it's, it made me pick the fight option, so... Yang liked that. I slapped his face with all my might, and finally could breathe freely. Furious, I glared straight at him. The smirk never left his face, and he sh showed no signs of anger at my resistance. He wasn't even phased by the slap. Does he feel no pain? He just might not care. I was confused. He asked in a whisper. Um, usually anyone, the very first time I see them, they just come up to me and kiss me. I'm gonna be repulsed, yeah. Repulsive? What? That's not the issue here. It's to kiss someone I've never met, whose name I don't even know. His statement was so insensitive that I couldn't help but raise my voice. You expect me to just accept this? This is so appalling. He should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> far from it, though. He is far from ashamed. As if no longer finding this entertaining, his smile disappeared. So, Thank me? Ah. Oh. The man spoke with such arrogance. Well, I never wanted this. The man gave off a taunting stare and spoke with some air of surprise. Well, I come from the church. Is he saying I look like them? I glared back at him and responded as calmly as I could. I do not. I have never been mistaken for such a person before. I thought you would have realized who I am already. He gave me a challenging smirk, but I couldn't answer. I don't think I can ask him for help. Standing so close to him, I looked into his eyes once more, and I knew. His deep golden eyes seemed to draw me into a trap. 
a devilish color like a full moon on the horizon. And in the depths of those eyes, there were no human emotions, only emptiness. Simply locking eyes with him is giving me the chills. I felt like I was looking into a void. Footsteps barged onto the rooftop. It was the men looking for me. Hi. He spoke casually and I froze where I stood. It was Yang. He casually bent down and stared into my shaken face. He then whispered as if to a lover. I'm not your lover. Yet. Name. Yang. I was at a loss for words. He knew from the beginning. You tricked me. He knew who I was. I had no choice but to accept this heavy truth. I knew there was no other option. There was never a way out, out for me from the very beginning. Oh no. Poor Lily. So did it. I've got all my knowledge from the Nicola route. They had taken me from the rooftop to an, a room inside, where they sat me down on a chair. Members of the Lao Shu si simply stood behind the man and didn't say a word. Then explain things to me. He spoke in a tone that made it difficult to tell what his true intentions were. He continued without waiting for my answer. Well... I, do you want my knowledge from a previous route that I don't- that this Lily shouldn't know about? I don't know that Lily really knows anything. つまらないお喋りは嫌いだ。お前が上手に話して見せたら褒美に疑問に答えてやろう。それと要点を絞って分かりやすく話せ。ブルローネに来て数年経つが、イタリア語は煩雑で叶わ。he can lie with such a straight face. He's been speaking in fluent Italian this whole time. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. Uh, I couldn't help but sigh. That seemed to come as a surprise to him, and he cocked his head. I suppose I have no choice but to prepare for the worst. I stared back at his golden eyes and spoke. I am clearly at a disadvantage. So, and saying the wrong thing will end my life. Depends, will that end my life? I can't. If I say nothing, you'll be displeased. You are the one who said I'm, a, I'm in a dangerous spot. If you abandon any effort to think for yourself, you will not be worth anything to me. That was what he said. <laughs> I'll talk because I have no other choice. I'll tell you everything that I know, and I'm going to see how you react. <laughs> Lily, I like your attitude in this route so far. His smile deepened as if the whole situation amused him without taking my eyes off him. I thought very hard and finally spoke. I'm in Valeno. The people you attacked... The people who had attacked and abducted me called Yu Yang on the rooftop. Which means you are the boss of the Laoshu. The head of the Laoshu rarely made appearances in the outside world. I had never met him, of course, nor had I ever seen him. However, I have heard of this man before. As if to confirm my assumptions, the man before me sm smiled widely. Gometo. I win! He was exactly as he was rumored to be. A killer who took the lives of both friend and foe. No matter how inhumane or cruel, he was capable of doing anything without hesitation. He had an intimidating aura unlike anyone else. So did it. The fact that you're showing me that you're showing your face must mean you brought me here for a specific reason. As much as I didn't want to believe it, that was the only conclusion I could come to. That is all I can think of. 
With that, I clenched both my fists which were sitting on my lap. I don't know if my answer was what he was looking for. My body tensed, knowing that the worst could happen to me if it wasn't. He gave me a tormenting stare and slowly started to speak up. Hmm. Yay, I win. I was abducted and then the boss of a the, the infamous boss of the Laoshu just kissed me out of nowhere and now you're threatening to kill me if I said the wrong thing I think it's pretty obvious that I'm frightened who wouldn't be he was right I couldn't help but look away being exposed to the threat of death if I let my guard down now I, might, I may start to cry I um I it's because you are intimidating. You're a scary man, Yang. That's right, you're intimidating. I decided to be honest. Being taken to a mafia base and being tested by its leader, of course I would feel this way. The best I could do was try to try and keep my voice steady. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Commend? Because I said you were intimidating? Then you're not going to kill me? He smirked and responded vaguely. That is vague. Is that so? As he said that, I felt he was scarier than a devil. Yang looked at the men who were standing by and muttered orders. Saga. The vigilant men exited the room, and I was left alone with Yang. Yang smirked, turn turning to me once more. Please, I need to think carefully. I'm sure he won't answer my many questions. Once he's bored, he may end this session abruptly. I chose one thing that I was most curious about. Um, and the thing that I am most curious about is, we got a lot of options back to back here. Why me? That is it. Why did you take me? What is your purpose? Yes. 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 I had no idea what he was getting at, and he answered calmly. Really? Well, I'm trying to figure out, based on that conversation we overheard with Nicola and Dante earlier, and this, is it is the reason that, like, I'm important to the Falzoni family, is it because she, she's a value to the church? Or is it something else? The Falzoni family? My eyes grew wide hearing that name. The Mafia was watching over me? Seriously? Huh. What? Position? So that Position, existence, value. The words together made no sense to me. I had never been aware of any connection between myself and the Falzone. But no matter how much I denied it, nothing would shake his conviction. And it wouldn't change the information he obtained either. 
Um. None. Perplexed, I asked another question. It was all I could do. Was the reason the Lao Shu took me to make a deal with the Falzoni? Yeah. Good reason. Okay, you did not invite me. You kidnapped me. Those are two very different things, sir. He's lying with a straight face. He had no intention of hiding his attitude. But if I really am connected to the Falzone, he could threaten them and ask for a ransom. It was easy for me to come to that to the conclusion that it was why they abducted me. For some time? So if the Falzoni really does attack the Laoshu, I can be freed? Then that means... You'll let me walk around as long as it's within Veleno? Okay. It's not really a guard, is it? Rather someone to watch me? He saw me sigh gloomily, and his eyes thinned as if it were amusing to him. Oh, you won't kill me immediately. <laughs> That's nice to know. Means you will eventually. Maybe if I woo you, you won't. Meanwhile, he won't kill me yet. Okay. <laughs> Multiple meanwhiles. Front. Dante! Dante, help! ホコクです。カポ。例の件について その後の足取りは今追ってます。分かった。下がっていい。はい。失礼しました。困ったことになったね。ああ。最近のラオシュは若い女性を無差別にさらっていたようだけど、無差別じゃなかったのかもね。ああ。<笑> ヤンは彼女が僕たちの鍵だって知ってしまったのかもしれない。ヤンの思惑がどうであれ、俺たちはどんな手を使っても彼女を取り戻さなければならない。ファルツオネの使命にかけて必ず。Always been the僕たちは他組織の領域に立ち入らないのを暗黙の了解にしているしね。どちらにしろ、今すぐ動くわけにはいかない。都度状況に合わせて対応しよう。僕も懇意の情報屋たちに探らせてみるから。だが、もし彼
I, you looked different before. Skin mo ho jun ni takuae te orare ryo desu shi. Jishitsu, lao shu no atama to itte mo kagon dewa nai katto. What? What? I'm so confused. Okay, you won't kill me yet. The idea of him doing so at some point kept me from feeling relieved. I can't trust him. The anxiety that nested in my heart only grew. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end today's video here. Wow, <laughs> a lot happened. Yang, wow. So far, the tone of his route is just so very different than Nicholas. He's definitely a bit of a scarier guy. <laughs> you first meet him and he's just like, smooch. <laughs> that, that surprised me quite a bit. Despite the fact that I'm kind of scared of Yang right now and I have no idea how this is going to turn romantic. <laughs> I'm, I'm really enjoying the start of this. It's just the tone of it. it. It's very different, like I said, from the last route, but in a good way. Not that I'm saying one is better than the other. I'm just, I'm liking how this one's feeling different. So yeah, I think we're, we're gonna be in for an interesting time here with Yang. <laughs> So yeah, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.